I mean, I mean, I, I don't have, like, I can't, I can't really, I don't know, but like, I can't, what am I going to compare? I think you are. I mean, I only can only compare to, like, your girlfriend's. Hello, everyone. We are back with a new video. We, because Patrick is joining me today. Yeah! <laughs> So today we are going to do an assumptions video. I've just been wanting to try new things on my channel. Today I've put some glitter on my, not glitter, just like these little sparkles on my eye just because I can't get my eyeliner right. So we're just gonna Same. work with this. Okay. Yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Penelope Pop, also known as Winnie Wong. That's actually my real name. A lot of my videos are centered around curating your lifestyle, but today we are going to be talking about assumptions, which is a very common thing that people do online. I was like, oh, I don't like her because she's like this. Well, you don't really know that person, so can you really have a good judgment on it? Are you a good judge? Am I a good judge? That's the question we'll be asking for today. So I've asked on Instagram, if you don't follow me, I'm Penelope Pop Art, what people's assumptions of me are. And it's fun to bring Pat in because he's always likes to play the devil's advocate. <laughs> and we actually usually like argue about this. Whenever I like vent out to him about something and he's mm -hmm. always like, so why do you think they said that? And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, it's a bad, it's a bad idea. Don't do that. <laughs> and I'm just like, um, I'm just trying to tell you how I feel. So he likes to play devil's advocate. So it's more fun telling Shara things because she's just listening while Pat is more like <laughs> it's not questioning me I'm, I'm no about fun. my choices. <laughs> they get the point. <laughs> no fun. So I see one here it says you're a cat hoarder. That's true. You like that? Okay, one says here I'm bubbly and nice. I would like to think I was bubbly and nice. You were bubbly and nice at one point. No, no, you're not no, no I. Bubbly. The word bubbly used to be what people used to say bubbly. about me. Like every time someone would be like, what is Winnie's personality like? People would be like, you're bubbly. I don't think people would say that about me anymore. I'm cold, dark, and... Jaded. It's just like I think the adult world ruined it for me. <laughs> so. Okay, one says that you're being you, not minding what people say. What? Why do you look uh, at me like that? I know what you're gonna say. Because I do care a lot about what other people say. Okay. I, I, I like to think I don't care. Like people are like, I don't care what people say. People do care. Most people who say that do care about what other people say. That's what I think. You know you're smacking your lips, which means that you like think, like you're preparing for- my lips? You're going like this. My lips are dry. No, you know why? No, you're not doing lips. It's like, you do this with your, when you're about to lie, you like do this thing and I can hear it. I'm not saying anything, I'm just reading off what Okay, but I feel like saying. you want to agree with something, but then you want to lie about it because no, you don't want to get in trouble about it. No, not true. <laughs> okay. Not true. Okay. Okay, one here says, you're a perfectionist. And hello, when they say hello. What do you think? Yeah, I think you are. I mean, I think, I think, I think you try hard to be. But right? I know things don't turn out the way you want it to be. I think that's what I've realized is that many times I tried to make things work my way. Over the last five years, I've really figured out like flexibility is the way to go. If you were to ask me like how mm -hmm. I was before, I was very like left, right. Mm -hmm. Now you're like, go wherever. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of these say snob, but they also say you're super cute. It's okay, Pat. Snob. You don't need to like No, literally this one in the same one snob says day. snob. Hey, hey, pero I still like you. You're super cute, kasi. Okay. No need to flower it up. I know that's a common thing people say when they first meet me. What? That you're cute? No. <laughs> no. I think a lot of introverts come off as, as snobs or like uptight because like the body language is really important and like people shrivel up, they like, it's just like they come off as a little bit cold. And I think that's what happens with people like me is that it takes me a while to warm up to other people. So if I'm not talking to them, I don't know what to say. Most of the time I'm just freaking out inside my head trying to think of things to say. Like when I meet his like friends or something, I'm always just what? super quiet. I'm like yeah, dead. You know, same. But a lot of the time. <laughs> one says, Hindi maruno mag chores. Is it true? What do you think? What do you think? Well no, you lived you, well you lived in you lived by yourself for a while yeah. when you went to college. Yeah, what do you mean I don't do chores? That person doesn't know me. I think they mean like, you know, everyday chores. I do do chores. I do clean my I mean, room. I mean you know how to do it, but like not to the extent. I don't not, know, it depends how 
this person. And yeah, chores. but I do chores like maybe Saturdays and Sundays when, yeah. I, when I'm at home, I like fix my room because there's a certain way I want my room to look and I am very privileged to have help. The thing is that they, don't, they can't work the way I want it to work. So I need to fix it the way I want to fix it. So like through college, I had to make a bunch of mistakes like washing machine mistakes, dishwashing mistakes um, that caused my friend and I to fight once. No, Chores in terms of like folding my own clothes. Yeah, I mean, and I've also done a lot of service learning trips, so. Okay, what does um, tahimik mean? Quiet. So wrong tahimik. Wow, I know my words. I honestly think I'm like way better in Tagalog now. Like, yeah, so a lot of them are saying, uh, I think they find you tahimik. I am. I am to people I don't know. Like when I start to get to know a person, I am very comfortable in talking to them, then probably won't shut up. To other people I don't know, I just don't know how to start a conversation. I feel like it's hard to give context to a lot of stories that I have to share with other people. So I am quiet. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're pretty quiet. Well, like well off or um, super rich, crazy rich Asian that I'm seeing a lot. Mm, this is a sensitive topic. I like to think that yes, my family is. Let's put it this way. I get to live in the house that they have, but th culturally that's a thing in Asia where you live with your parents until you get married. Or Not even in Chinese culture, if you're the youngest child and if you're married, you stay with your parents. I'm the youngest. I don't know if this helps my case. My parents don't pay for any of my like trips. They don't like, if I go on a trip with them, they make mm. me pay for oh, the answer flight. The question. I'm not. You're not, you don't think so? My, me personally, my bank account? No. Mm. Mm. My family is, mm. and I don't think I have access to that right now, so no. Okay, so you personally don't think you're like well off? Me? No, yes, not. My like bank you. account doesn't say so. I think you are well off. Okay. I think you're being too hard on yourself. I think you just have really high standards because of your family, but... I mean, okay, maybe, yeah. Just look at the, 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 like, you're what, 28, 29? Yeah. And you're managing your own business. Other I don't think people. you like using the word rich. I think that's why. But I think you're definitely, uh, you're doing very well. Okay. Is that fair? Is that fair to say? That's you're fair doing to very say. Well. I, just, I don't think like you like saying, you don't like hearing the word because there's like a stigma when you say rich. Not really. I would like to be rich. Okay, so maybe you have a different, maybe people have different de definitions of rich. Yeah. Um, high maintenance. Next. I don't think there is an issue with being high maintenance. I think because of gender stereotypes, like if a girl wants or needs something, <laughs> yeah, then it's seen. I, if anything, I'm the high maintenance one. <laughs> I definitely think this is a gender stereotype because they place girls as things they have to be like quiet, they have to submit to whoever they're with, like in religion, sorry, <laughs> religion. But like there's some people when you get married, they're like, are you going to submit to your husband? I'm like, no. Nope. I wouldn't. I mean, I guess there's like a meaning behind it. Now it's not, it, if you take it into context, like it sounds really literal, but like it's transformed into like something different, but I still don't agree with it. Like we should have the same level of communication and that doesn't mean I'm high maintenance. It just means that I know what I want and there's nothing wrong with that. This one's funny. You can dance well, but you can't sing. Sorry, I haven't seen you yet singing in front of the cam for your blogs. Yeah, I don't sing. Ah, you do dance well though. Oops, gotta blame it on my juice, baby. No. Agreed. No, I can't dance. I don't dance that well. I think I'm average. No, but I think so. Like if I place myself in within like, and then I, I look at how I dance and how other people dance, I would say I'm an average person. One says, it's hard for you to connect with other YouTubers or you just don't feel the need to do so. I think it's hard for me to connect to other YouTubers just because like, shy. I ha I'm shy. Mm. Especially when I go to events, like I'm always like finding a way to exit already. <laughs> I don't know how to start a conversation and like, especially because it, I came in like a little bit late, everyone's established their friend groups. Actually, the friend that I've established a connection with is May. She's another YouTuber. We actually talk a lot, but I've never met her. So like we talk about like our projects and stuff, and then we talk about our cats, and I've never met her. So, hey May, <laughs> if you're watching this. Suplada. What do you think? Whatever, whatever you think, I don't know. 
I don't Again, know. I think these are terms used for masungit, suplada, high maintenance, whatever. All those things are just gender stereotypes. When someone has a strong characteristics, especially a woman, it comes off like too intimidating. So a lot of people mistake that for being annoying or wrong, but it's not wrong. It's right. It says your students love you. What do you think? <laughs> um, I think it's mixed just because I come off very strict. Yeah, some of these are like, you're strict, you're strict. Yeah. You think I'm strict? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. As I said before, I used to be very like rigid with the way things have to be left, right, black, white. But I think over time I've come to terms with the idea that things just have to be, you have to work on it and that it has, you have to adapt to whatever comes your way. I think I'm a lot more flexible now, but I still have that rigid spirit within me. You can say like, yeah, like, like when you were growing up, right? You weren't taken seriously a lot. So you always have this, um, like, yeah. your first impression is always going to be like you're a... Child. What? No, you're like strict. You're like, you're always going to come across as like mean. Yeah. Because of the times a lot of people like didn't take you seriously. You yeah. Know? Actually, that was an assessment made by you. And then I just used that. No, but did I like, yeah. That's true? true. Yeah. Like you were kind of bullied a little bit. I was no. bullied a lot because I was short and like I didn't mature fast enough. I remember in middle school, um, I wasn't wearing a bra at that time because I was super flat. TMI. One of the girls was in the bathroom and they were like, you're not wearing a bra? And I'm like, no, because I don't have any. So, but, but they're now like, things have changed. Now <laughs> things have, no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> People would be like, oh my gosh, you're such a baby. Every time people would say that. Genius and soft-spoken. Definitely not genius. <laughs> a lot of misconception about me is that I'm smart. But honestly, my grades in high school and middle school were very average. But I'm not. It's just I've built myself to appear that way just because I had to like suppress all the yeah. stuff that happened to me in the past. Sad. I mean, like, I, d I don't regret any of the stuff that happened to me because it's made me who I am. Yeah, you're a hard worker, if, yeah. if anything. Like, you'll, you'll see these people say a lot of things about you, but I don't think you'll find anyone call you lazy. I think you work really hard. Oh. <laughs> not really fond of Filipino food, is that true, right? That's not true. Yeah, you usually always order uh, sinigang and... What's the one dish you like to order from? Sinigang, tokwat, baboy, kangkong. Yeah, no. Oh, there. Sinigang is my favorite. Lalo is really good. Pansit. Bagoong rice. One says you're 5'2". No. <laughs> Maybe because I have bad posture, I come off that way. <laughs> you always like to say I'm short. Like, you're always pretending like, I'm just Ooh. pretending that I'm much taller than you. I yeah. Like pretend I'm much taller than you. Very what? picky eater. This person is like nail in the head. <laughs> wow. That's the most accurate assumption. That's like undercutting it. Yeah. Incredibly picky. Right? When you were a kid, you just didn't eat food. Remember? I did eat food. I would just eat rice. Yeah. As a kid. As yeah. a little kid who needed food. Yeah, right? I would wasn't eat rice. Was the doctor worried that you weren't eating? Or No, my dentist was worried I wasn't eating. Mm. Because my baby teeth wasn't coming out until middle school. They actually had to extract five of them. Really? Like the ones at the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I had, you like, they forced... Teeth. Uh, because they got me braces. So my dentist kept asking my mom if I was chewing because like I like soup and I like, I guess there, I'm lazy chewer. I don't like chewing things. One says you're sarcastic. <laughs> it's like the one thing you hate or the thing you hate the most. You don't like sarcasm, right? What do you think? Okay, you don't like it when I'm sarcastic. Cause you're always sarcastic. I'm always sarcastic. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm always sarcastic. <laughs> there, that was sarcasm. There. Um, you tend to crave unhealthy snacks. Hmm. You have a sweet tooth. Well, sweet tooth. Yeah, you don't really have a sweet tooth. But you like, you do like uh, chips. Yeah, you like chips a lot. Yeah, I like chips. You like chips. I'm Corn sure. chips. Assumption. She can't speak the Galog. Yeah, she can't speak the Galog. Um, it's fair. That's fair. I think I can understand though. It's okay. You're better than me. Like when you guys are Something. talking in meetings and stuff, I understand what you're saying. Your MBTI is in it. Oh, do you oh, what it is? MBTI, yeah. What is your MBTI? My MBTI is INFJ. Mm. You remember what mine is? ENFP. Really? Yeah. yeah. You're not into Pinoy showbiz and chismis. I will feel embarrassed to talk about a showbiz issue in front of you. Oh, I That's love not it. True. 
She loves that. Please, if you guys have any cheese smiths, just DM Winnie. <laughs> if you want to get her to reply to you, give her some good cheese smiths. Anything, even if it's for advice of like your close friend that she has no idea who it is. If it's like a juicy situation, oh, she'll, she'll gladly give you advice. <laughs> Try thrift shopping. I have. Yeah, right? I've even actually in Canada to earn more money because I couldn't work there. I sold my old clothes in, through thrift shops. And it was like by consignment, so like sold, I would get like ten dollars or something, and that was great already. What's your um, astrology? I'm a Cancer, a cancer. But rising. It's so complicated now. There's rising moon, sun setting. Yeah, so this one's Crazy right. now. There are like four different terminologies of your astrology. Like I think I'm a rising Taurus. Um, what did they say? Capricorn moon, Taurus rising. Oh rising. yeah, Taurus rising. Yeah, there. What's Branca? Branca. Straightforward. Oh. You're blunt. You're like, uh, tell it how it is. You think? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. They would know more because you're in meetings with them. Mm, you say it you're biased nice towards way. me, so. Now you say it a nice way. Wow, I think I've gotten better then. Yeah. That's one thing that I've wanted to improve on. So, for Shara to say that is nice. So we have one that says you're a super chill girlfriend. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have, like, I can't, I can't really, I don't know, but like, I can't, what am I going to compare? I think you are. I mean, I only can only compare to, like, your girlfriend's, <sighs> I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, like, you're my friends, I guess I see their girlfriends, and they're, they're cool, and then, like, you're, you're chill, Oh God, yes, it's so hot. <laughs> it's still so hot right now. No, I think you're chill, I think you're chill. I think you're pretty chill. I think you're chill, you're chill. I think you're, you're chill, right? <laughs> Am I? Am I? Oh I my gosh, it's almost 12 years. May, 12 years. Uh, what do you have to say? Chill or not chill? I think That I think is the question. Fine. I think it's fine, I think you're fine. What do you mean? Elaborate. It's not like, I'm not gonna generalize <laughs> not chill. you and just say you're chill. I think like, yeah, there are times where you'd get not, you'd not be chill, I mean, right? I mean, well, that's fair. I mean, I, I, Lord knows I'm not chill a lot of the time. A lot of people like to put people into boxes, but like, we all have no, our- No, like, I get what they're asking. I think yeah. for the most part, yeah, you're pretty chill. Good, that's the right answer. Good. Yeah, put that stick down. That's one, Okay, wait, one says, you have many friends despite being introverted and accept people's faults and quirks. She has that many friends. I'm just kidding. No, you do have friends. But I think like, what, when you get older, it's not like you... you yeah. Know, your, your circle of friends, I think, gets smaller. It's not like you lose friends, it's just your circle gets smaller. I think it's just harder to connect with people because yeah, you don't see them. them. Yeah, you just don't see them at all. You don't see them often, like, because in school, you're forced to see these people every day, right? I have a lot of friends. I would say like I have more guy friends than girls. Mm -hmm. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this. No, really, right? Wait, really? I'm just kidding, yeah, 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 you're a guy gal. No. Yeah, all the guys want to be friends with Winnie. Stop it, don't say it that way. <laughs> I'm not trying to say like, I'm one of the guys. I would never say that. Girls are the same as guys. It's just, I I feel like they talk a lot more. That's cool, I get it. If I was a single guy, I'd like to be your friend. <laughs> no, not that way. I'm just kidding. Wait, it says you're accept people's faults and quirks. Yeah, I think so. She's the most quirkiest. At, like growing up, Winnie is very, quirky and very awkward, right? So you know what it's like, you're not gonna, she's not gonna discriminate or like be mean towards someone's faults and quirks, right? Unless you cross me. Unless you're unhygienic. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing she'll probably have the least patience for. If you're like a loud chewer, if you're uh, just being very unhygienic. Is that mm -hmm. true? Oh, dude. Is that true? Like you probably have the lowest tolerance for like, just unhygienic. You're, you're very yeah. hygienic. Yeah. Actually, that reminds me of what no, I was reading through my tweets. It was like my ninth year Twitter anniversary because mm -hmm. they remind me. Mm -hmm. And I was just scrolling through, you know, Twitter just to see if I was problematic in my tweets. Because, you know, you get called out for that kind of stuff. Luckily, oh, yeah. I think I was okay unless someone wants to backtrack and find some crazy stuff that I wrote. So I was on Twitter and then on the, and I was on the food court, I still remember in Vancouver, and I saw this person aggressively picking her nose, like like this, like that. Oh, gross. And then like, and then she looked at it and she ate it. And that's ingrained in my memory forever. But then I tweeted it and then like a day later, 
I reflected on it and on how bad my choices were because I might have realized that she was she, she was on the spectrum. So my bad. Um, you're judgmental. I would agree with that. I don't think anyone's not judgmental. I think I think you grow up to be very cautious about the people around you that you have to be wary not to trust strangers. So forming judgment is the automatic thing that you do. So I would say I'm judgmental, but I would always be aware about how I make those judgments and if I shouldn't be making those judgments. But to, for people to say that they don't judge, like, come on. Yeah, that's fair. I think people, yeah. Yeah, and also like, that doesn't mean I think I'm nice. Like I definitely probably have had bad encounters with many people and other people have had bad experiences with me. Does that mean I'm a horrible person? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Does that mean I'm a horrible person? Probably not. I mean, that's the same with everybody. That's why when people are like, oh my gosh, I had this horrible experience with a celebrity. Well, you've got to see if it's a common pattern. Right? If it's a, about the, yeah, okay. if it's a one-off thing, then probably maybe you're in the wrong or um, they're having a bad day. That's it. What did you think about the assumption? Anything I that think surprised you? Nothing surprised me. No, I think those are things that I've heard. Mm -hmm. It's always refreshing to hear it because you always want to have a good outlook and reflect on how you can be a better person. Mm, that's cool. Wow, you're so wise. Sarcasm okay. 101 with Patrick. No, sorry. I'm just shy. I don't know. Sometimes if I don't know what to say, I'll be... Anyways, that's what I think. I mean, I'm not trying to be cliche, but it's true. It's mm -hmm. good to reflect on yourself. I always talk about like... do this more often. That's it, everybody. That's the assumptions about me. If you find any of them accurate or not let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe please and do it right yeah, do it subscribe do it. and i'll see you guys next time bye-bye bye-bye